last time. I did 6,000 Agility Pyramid Labs, got 60 mil out of it. And that's all I have to say about it. Cue the explosions, Extreme Watch Iron Man, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Here's a quick reminder on all the tasks I still have to do. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of iron bars left. So I might as well use those in the Giants Foundry because it's decent money. You get like 12k per sword or so. And it's good smithing experience and I need a high smithing level so I can actually make room plate legs and room plate skirts, uh, which I can then sell in Narda for 40k a piece. And of course it doesn't hurt to get a high smithing level. Look at that XP, you get a lot of XP here. Also I can buy smithing catalysts here and that actually saves a lot of coal when I'm smelting room bars. So let's do it. And in the mornings I'm gonna try to mine some rune here and there. All the worlds are heavily botted. But in the mining guild the respawn timer is only 6 minutes. So I can just use the total level worlds to avoid a lot of the bots. And if I do it in the morning then it's midnight in North America. So half the player base is not online. Which is good for me because that means more rune. Here we go, first smithing level in a while. It's going pretty fast here. Get like 80k XP an hour. So... Levels shouldn't take too long. And look at that stat menu. Stats are <laughs> looking beefier by the day. So notice the little bug. Normally you can't bank when you get a random event because it will disappear. But apparently not in the Giant's Foundry. You can just get a torso out of the bank and get a free stamina. 97, yes. Let's go. Room kites. Love to see it. A thousand swords made in the Foundry. I think that's a lot. Okay, this should be the last one. And hang on. Yes, number 10. Uh, if I get more randoms, I'll get more stamina. But I can now make a rejuvenation pool as soon as I actually get a saw. And there we go, 98. This didn't take too long, only a couple of days. Uh, looking good. I still have some iron bars left, so I'm still gonna make those into swords and after that yeah we'll spend some reward points so i'm out of iron bars so i can buy some smithy catalysts uh can't buy the double ammo mold yet because you need a dwarf cannon quest but i'll keep 2000 points in reserve for that and this shop is really annoying i can't use shift to buy it's only buy 10 so uh, this is gonna take a while before i get all the catalyst okay can't buy this one yet need to quest but I bought a lot of catalysts, so now I can actually make some room bars. Uh, I have a lot of ores, um, so let's see, uh, almost a thousand. Let's go smith those into bars, and maybe I'm also gonna make some adamant bars, but I'm not sure about that yet. Okay, so I forgot about this because it's a long time ago, but there's a bug with the catalysts where it doesn't calculate correctly how many bars you can smelt. So after five room bars, this will just stop smelting. And you need to manually click them on the furnace, which is annoying. Uh, so fix your game, Jagex, come on. And there we go, this is the last one. Yes. Okay, so that was kind of annoying because I had to click uh, manually on the furnace. But I'm also going to make all these adamant bars because uh, I can make adamant plate bodies. And those are worth like 10k each. And that seems worth it to me. So I'm just going to smelt them, uh, probably going to keep some bars in reserve because I might need some eddy bolts for mole later. But first, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime this spring by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your door. So you can skip the checkout lines and get right outside in the warm weather because HelloFresh has dinner covered. And I don't know about you, but personally I really hate wasting food. And HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients help cut down on food waste by at least 23% compared to grocery shopping, which is good for your wallet and the planet. HelloFresh has also a lot of variety. There are options for everyone and every lifestyle, with 40 recipes and over 100 seasonal and convenience items to choose from each week. With so much variety, there are options for everyone and every lifestyle. And for me personally, it just really helps me to eat healthier food more often. Use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use code POGLIMPAUG50 for 50% off plus free shipping. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Oh, 
Okay, just done with all my Eddie bars. Let's see. I have a thousand uh, bars left, but I'll do those later for bolts or something. So 6,000 Eddie bars, a thousand room bars. Um, yeah, let's get to making some plate bodies. And when I get to 99 smithing, I can actually make the rune pieces. Here we are back at my first anvil. And I also have a anvil in Narda. But this one is just a little bit closer. So I'm going to make these all into plate bodies. And then we'll get to the rune. I just had a brilliant idea. Uh, I now have magic roots. Which means I can actually make a amulet of nature. Which tells you if your patches have become diseased. So that's really handy. And yeah, that means that I'll uh, be able to get more fully grown magic trees. Okay, so the amulet is now bound to the patch and I just uh, realized that these actually don't have charges, so I only needed one. But I could have sworn they had charges in the past, but might be dumb. Okay, so almost 99 smithing and this is gonna be 99 number six on the account smithing. Um, so I can't get the cape yet, but it will be nice to have that because then I can just Skip the Thurgo chunk, get the cape and get out. There we go. 99 smithing, look at that. Awesome. Uh, yeah, can now make the uh, room plate legs and plate skirts. So why not just get to it? 1200 plate bodies, look at that. Worth uh, 12 million elks. So when I get some nature runes, I can elk those. But let's get on with the runesmithing. That is the last one. So I made 50-50 plate skirts and plate legs. So I can both sell them to the Narda Adventure Store. They buy for over 50k. So that's more than the elk value. Unfortunately, Soup has just made a video about this a couple of weeks ago. Which means it's... Uh, yeah, there's fierce competition. But I guess I'll just do my trick of just going in the mornings and seeing if I get lucky. In the meantime, I'll just fletch some yew locks and maybe some oak locks. Uh, I got a lot of yew locks from Mall, so might as well use those to make an extra buck. And this should be the last of them. Didn't take too long. Uh, also almost 98 fletching, so if I ever get to Caterby, it's gonna be a walk in the park. There's a cheeky farming level, 74. Um, I still have a lot of magic seeds, over 100 saved up from KQ. I have over 100, so I might as well use them. Add some more downtime, so I'm gonna get my prayer level up. I need 70, so I might as well take a page out of first book and kill a lot of hill giants. And they also drop nature runes. Hey, a long bone, gonna bury that. Might trigger a lot of people, but here we go. Don't need those anymore. Never gonna get uh, to Dorkish Khan before 99 construction. So might as well bury them all someone spotted me a lucky imp let's see what we can get from this guy okay plate body that's like uh, 30 backed plants so thank you very much first strength level in a while incoming 90 strength awesome uh, sight of it too okay okay what the fuck is this <laughs> combat level message i have never seen that before that must be new or something. I've never seen that before. Might also say something about this account, but yeah, I guess that's new. Here we go. Finally managed to offload all of these plate legs. Almost 20 mil, which means we're almost at 200 mil GP. I'm gonna put this skill book on Slayer because why not? Should be 30. Yes, 30 Slayer only from Lamps. Let's see, here we go, 193 mil, almost at 200, but before we do anything I'm gonna sell a lot of my trash, even my oak planks, I don't need them, <laughs> I'll never need them again because, yeah, no saw and stuff, so, yeah, 15,000 oak planks from implings and temporos, it's all gonna be sold in Paul Mivnich. Here we go, last of it is gone, okay, good. Uh, almost 2 mil. Um, I still have a bit of stuff I need to sell before we can continue. Mithril ores are really useless to me, so I'm just gonna spam sell them here in the mining guild. I uh, might get a 100k or so. Uh, but yeah, I don't mind. They are useless to me. 
important farming level. Here we go. 75, I can now plant magic trees. So I don't have to boost anymore with a garden pie and I can just, you know, casually do some magic tree farming. Here we go, 87 attack. After getting 90 strength, I also want 90 attack because it will look better in the <laughs> skill menu. So I'm just gonna train prayer here for a little bit and also get some nature runes so I can elk my adamant plate body stack and get to that 200 mil gold. God damn it, I missed a level, but 64 prayer. Levels here take a while because you only get 3, 4k XP an hour. So it's not very fast. And 65. Um, yes, third age. Okay, so this took a long ass time. I think I killed 8,000. Let's see. Yeah, almost 8,000 hill giants. And I got uh, 800 nature runes. And that should be enough to get me well over that 200 mil gold. So let's go elk some plate bodies. Here we are, Elking. Uh, also got some random rune items I got from Mole, which you can also now liquefy. So yeah, let's go ahead and Elk all this junk. There we go, didn't take too long. Ended up with 8 mil. Let's see what's the cash tag gonna be. 203 mil, <laughs> oh my god. That's so much money on Iron Man. Especially such a restricted Iron Man as mine. I think that most, almost next Iron Man don't have this much money. But we're finally at 200 mil gold, so now we can actually buy some of those backed plants and start construction. Here we are, the garden supplier. I put a screen marker over the plants I want to buy. Backed plants 1 and backed dead trees. They're both the same XP and same cost, so I'm gonna buy those two and it's gonna speed up the process. But yeah, the screen markers are uh, so I don't misclick. Because they all look uh, the same. Because if if I misclick and I buy five magic trees by accident, then yeah, that's 250k gone. So very expensive misclicks. Let's not do that. And as a little trial, I'm gonna do this for an hour and see how many bad plants I can buy in that time. And at the end, we can kind of see how long it's gonna take to buy all these bad plants. Something I noticed is that the regular worlds uh, don't have all the bad plants in stock most of the time so just gonna use the total level worlds and that way i might avoid all the other iron man buying these things i just noticed these things are 10 kilograms each that's fucking insane 270 kilograms okay so uh, i can't run all the time because then my run will be gone but jesus christ that's that's heavy so in one hour i was able to buy 1100 give or take a few uh, so that means that it's gonna take 170 hours to buy all of these things. So I didn't just call this a death chunk to be cute, it's, it's really something. It's gonna take a long ass time, but I'll do it. So we're finally gonna get some construction levels after a long long time collecting gold. Uh, uh, my house is in Remington, so I can't walk to it, uh, which is kinda sucks. But uh, I can just teleport into it right now into building mode so that should uh, solve the problem. When I reach level 20 construction I can put my house in Polnifnich and then we can continue training there. There's a house portal and an item sorter so that should be a good way to train this skill. Level 20 construction. Uh, I really like this skill so this is quite fun for me and yeah I get 15k an hour. But I also get 15k farming XP per hour, so not too bad. Let's move the house to Polnifnich, uh, that way I can train more efficiently there. Okay, and now I'm here. Might as well get a contract from Amy because uh, I can't do it because I don't have a saw. But uh, if I get lucky and it's in Verrock or Velador, then uh, I actually can get all the rewards quicker when I'm actually able to do this. Uh, wait, beginner, I think I want the novice. Let's see. Oh, Sidious. Okay, <laughs> so that's a dead end. That's all the time I have for today, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going on a little vacation, so won't be that much progress uh, in the month of August from now. But when I'm back, I'm gonna buy a lot of back plants and get some construction levels and try to kill the death chunk before the end of the year. I think it's possible. It's going to take a lot of hours, but it can be done. But that's all for today. And a very special thank you to 
aka Roommate, Boggies, The Coded Lar, LP Kellner, Tyler Contrino, The Akbars, Vapor, Atlas K, UIM Evan, Lepaloki, Andros, Adrian Windrunner, Snogball One, Lox, Unsliced, High Class Low Life 465, Dan Tilly, Loxins, Dynamite, Epic Duck, Penguin Meat, Ron Cole, Jones Cullen, Hakurai Rimu, J Balls, Kurnai, Cam T, Sam, X2 Light, JVH Name 92, Cardo Zivadi, Charles Kelman, Apex Eternals, Renek, Ipneus, Brandon Nielsen, Kalis, Iron Wire, Sheep, Reese Bender, Zerno, Sidestar, Bash T, Yami Soba, Josh Nador, August Whitley, Slick Zeros, Gogro, Sifu, Dakota Chang, Rabbi Shecklestein, Patriot Luxe Goal, Mitchell Chamberlain, Notch Mocha, Ajax, Sean Dash, Man I'm Too Good, Player 8, Azusagi, Chrome Dog, and Tumble, one take by the way, as well as the other channel members you can see on screen right now. Thank you all. Thank you for the large influx of channel members. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next time.